Welcome back everyone. So, dead of winter, Mike Victor uniform sitting out here in the snow. We're about to pull it into Chris's shop, tear it apart and install the IFR equipment. Okay, so we're in the hangar. Uh, Mike Victor uniform is in here. Chris is out doing a run up on another plane that he's working on. The first part of this job is just ripping out, carefully <laughs> removing all of the existing panel and components on the pilot on the co-pilot side um, that's the side that the ifr equipment is going to go on so i've got to rip everything out of the plane and get going greetings girl and welcome to my world of phrasing right up to back is the daisy age you're about to walk top stage so wipe your lottoes on the mat Hip-hop love this is, and don't mind when I quiz your involvements before the sun. But clear your court, cause this a one-man sport, and who's better for this than plug one? Plug don't one. have to worry about me squashing other deals, cause they've already been squished. Freeze a frame of our moves the same, which we can continue right behind the bush. You'll stay with me, I know this, but not because of all my earthly treasures, or regardless to the fact that I'm passing the noose, but because... This dance to introduce myself as the chosen one to speak. Let me lay my hand across yours and aim a kiss upon your cheek. The name's Pluck Two, and from two, the soul two. I bring you the daisy of your choice. May it be filled with a pleasure principle in circumference to my voice. About those other jennies I reckon with, lost them all like a homework excuse. This time the magic number is two, cause it takes two, not three, to seduce. My destiny of love is brought to an apex. Sex is a mere molecule. In this world of lust that I have for you, it's true, true. I know I love you. To let this rhyme style get somewhat poured in the mold Hold my hand and we'll pick my plantation of daisies for a bouquet of soul So we dip at the cut of a rim Take it as filled to the rim as in brim Squeeze your stoop like Betty Boop Then make camel alphabet soup and spell plug ones within Forward march to the same when transistors will See what we do, what he does Is he, is he, he takes a perfectly good airplane, tears apart And puts all this shit in And then why did we change that one? Didn't we change one already? Change which one? Did we change either one? Yeah, we did? changed this side already. Okay, so... Uh, we so... changed that to put the autopilot in. Yeah, and so then... Oh, no, no, and then we changed it once before because I moved the... Yeah. So we've done it a few times. <laughs> so we take this out, this out, this out, this out, that, that, and that out. Okay. And then changes it, and then we put it back in, and then he comes up with a new idea, and we take it all back out again. And we put it all back in again. So we're getting pretty good at it. But I, like, I'm starting to think that maybe we need a quick attach. <laughs> I think this is the heart of the job. This is the... So this is the wiring harness. Yeah. And this is the Pro Hub guys or whatever? The uh, fast approach stack. fast stack. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Nice wires. They're all marked beautifully. There's a lot of zip ties on this. <laughs> so I've looked through. So everything that's tied, yeah. we leave. But anything that's zip tied, gets released. We gets released, yeah. yeah. So, and they're all nicely marked. They're all marked. And yeah. everything that goes into a pin has already got the tips on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. And anything that needs to be um, wired yeah, into yeah, the terminal sockets, stuff. terminals. Yeah. 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 All marked nicely. It'll probably even say the amperage of the circuit breaker it wants on there. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Um, and so there's a there's a wiring diagram as well that sort of tells us everything that we need to know. These wiring diagrams are better than what you get from like you know. So we get this. This connects everything together. So it sort of keeps me yeah. away from doing it. And, these, and this schematic is better than anything I've seen that comes out of the bigger shops that do this on the regular. All the red ones are ones that we 
are th already there and we leave in place? Yeah. So I guess my question now is the equipment that we're taking out. So I'm taking out a radio and a couple of other things. Yeah. I need to depin all of those wires. I need to dig in there and depin everything. Okay. Yeah. It's not easy, but there's a little plastic, little tool, plastic little, tool. Yeah. And when you pop them out, whatever, uh, the, and then, and then we'll go back later and we'll pin, pin back the, in. these back in. Yeah. And where would the pins be then? So on the back of the other radio on the, so the radio comes out, we're not replacing, we're replacing the radio completely. Oh yeah. So to the connections to the audio panel, the audio panel uh, comes out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then we're reworking the, um, pro pilot, the autopilot into the avidine which ends up with this switch yeah so every, i have to remove all of the pro pilot wiring that i that i did okay just recently <laughs> <laughs> it, they're they're a frustrating little tool but sometimes they work really well and sometimes they don't so we'll work away at it. but so, the schematics like to show the viewer that's beautiful tells us everything the, right the schematics are great and so then uh, we're moving some of the Dynon stuff around, so I've got all the Dynon the subs to all the together. Um, radios, and so I think this is going to be. I think this is going to move pretty quick. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. I need to get into the plane. Uh, so so one of the things, so this, that's the, that's the trig radio. So we're putting in a trig radio. We're taking out a trig radio that Dynon was labeled Dynon, yeah. but made by trig. So it's going to operate exactly the same way on the panel as what I've already got. Um, this it's is got the monitor function and everything. That's a pretty yeah. nice little unit. And so this is the, and it's got an nav side on it too. This is the PS Engineering audio panel. Um, marker beacon? Okay. It does not have a marker beacon. Okay. So the, it's got all the connections in the back for the marker beacon. I'm not exactly sure. What I read was um, in COVID times, yeah. they're having trouble getting some chips. So they wanted to keep making this model and they decided, okay, so we can't get the chip for the marker beacon. We'll just take the marker beacon out. It, you're the one taking the Iran or whatever. Yeah. So do they even have them anymore? I don't think there are yeah. many marker. They're, they're sort of related to a, uh, an ADF, which both are going to sort they're, of. They're on their way out. Yeah. And it um, must be mostly be GF, GPS approaches. So I don't know the limitations of that. That like uh, a lot of them are pulling them out. Like, so I don't. And not bother I, to put them back. In my, in my learning about. By far at this point, this will. This is the Avidine. Will tell me where the marker beacons are based on a GPS coordinate. Yeah, yeah. So the same thing. Yeah. So whatever. So this is this the, the. I think this is the same unit they use for the slide-in replacement for the four thirties. For the four thirties. Yeah, and so and uh, I've got a guy who's four thirty went shit. He put this in. He loves it. He is very very happy with that. So. Um, I'm kind of excited about having that to play with touchscreen. It's really nice. And so I, I dug deep into the trig for splitting the nav comp, the, the nav, because this, this one needs a separate glide slope and nav. Yeah. That's and, the, and, the triplex or the diplex or we. Yeah. Have. And so they, 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 this one, the trig also has glide slope and nav, Yeah. but it only has one antenna input. So the, that, that what's going on in the triplexer regarding, remember the frequency ranges? Yeah. So that's just, there's a chip or something in there. It's that in there. That. So they, yeah. they suggest a splitter. So I got a splitter that splits the whole signal that goes to here. And then from the splitter, we go into the triplexer, which splits the signal. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When we plug it in, we'll find we'll out. <laughs> <laughs> so the teardown's done and it's just a matter now of rebuilding putting it all back together putting it back together yeah it seems so simple when we just lay it on the table like this yeah yeah so but what's I, the dyno no it's that one um we don't need this okay uh this was another uh air model oh yeah okay we already had it so we the air that's already in there will take two inputs 
Okay. So both the ProPilot and the Avidyne will link through the existing Air Inc. So we don't need this. And the Air Inc, the idea is to change the computer language from, yeah. 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 So it changes it into something that the Dynon understands. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's not much here now, is there? No, oh, looks, should be done at the end of the day. Yeah, uh, we'll get the. <laughs> I'll show you how to remove pins. You could spend the rest of the day trying to get these damn things out. Well, and, and then <laughs> also making up uh, the coaxials, okay? Coax cables yeah. we need. Yeah, I've got like I've got all the crimp tools and everything like that for it. It's not my favorite job, but I think I've got the tooling to do it. No problem. Do you cool. got the BNCs and everything? Yeah, so I've got the I've got the BNCs. Uh, B, I've got BNCs and TNCs. Yeah, the, TN, the TNC is the screw in style. Screw in for the yeah, back. and then yeah, yeah, and then the the BNC is just the quarter turn regular yeah. coaxial, and so I stock a few of them too. But if, so, but we should be good. So cool. Yeah. Okay. Back at it. Now the pin tool. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around to the end. Thanks for watching to the very end of the video and thanks for watching this next little bit. Um, once again, in 2025, I am raising money for Hope Air and participating in the Give Hope Wings uh, flight across Canada um, that both raises funds for the Hope Air charity, but also raises awareness in the various communities that we stop in and in the wider community through you um, that this service exists and that this need needs to be met. Um, Hope Air is a charity that uh, allows Canadians who need health care that is not available in their community to travel to the larger cities in Canada where that, uh, that need can be met. Canada geographically is a massive country and some communities are pretty far flung um, and people end up having to drive 12, 14 hours to get to where the treatment exists that they need. And while healthcare in Canada is universal, um, any Canadian shows up at the door of the hospital, care is freely given, you have to get to the hospital or you have to get where the treatment is administered. Um, and for a lot of people, this can be a very difficult time in their life. They're juggling a lot of things. Um, they may not have the financial resources to fly to Toronto and you know, put themselves up in a hotel room for a couple of nights and meals and so on and so forth. And Hope Air is a charity that takes care of that, takes that burden away, takes that weight off of, off of people's shoulders and allows them to just get well. So my part in this is to raise awareness and to raise money. Um, I work with other pilots who fly some of these people who are seeking treatment from smaller flying communities to larger centers like Thunder Bay, where they can get a commercial airliner that will take them to Toronto or Winnipeg, so on and so forth. Um, and over the last couple of years, we've raised a lot of money for Hope Air. Last year alone, you um, donated around forty thousand um, dollars to help out with this with this cause. I'm very grateful for that. Um, I feel very blessed that we have created a community here on YouTube um, amongst everything else that's going on in the world where, where we can help people. So once again, I'm doing this. Um, once again, we're flying. I will be putting the itinerary down in the, in the description box of the places we're going to be in early June where you can stop in and, and we can meet. Um, also links to Hope Bear Charity so that you can check them out, see what they, what they do. And if you're moved to help, there will be a link to the fundraising page um, for everyone who has who has who has given in the past i thank you enormously and everyone who is about to give thank you <laughs>